Okay, let's apply all our derivative rules. So first off, let's summarize, and summarize all the ones we just learned up here. <coughs> Excuse me. So first thing I want to write is my first rule I learned, which was for exponents, which was put the exponent in front and then minus 1 in the top. Then we've also learned that the derivative of sine is cosine. We've learned that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We've learned that the derivative of an exponential is itself. And that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Yeah, let me double check. Yep. So those are all the derivative rules we learned so far. Once again, you're going to want to memorize all of these. So let's start applying them. <coughs> Differentiate each of the following functions using correct notation without using a calculator. So I have, here's my derivative, or here's my original. I want to find my derivative. So I'm going to take this one term at a time. So let's look at that one first. First, I have my scalar multiplication derivative rule, which means the 2 is on the outside. And then I want to take a derivative of e to the x. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Okay, let's do the next one. Once again, scalar multiplication, that negative 3 stays outside. And then I want to take the derivative of ln of x. So derivative of ln is 1 over x. Now this last one is going to be our exponent or our exponent rule. But I'm going to change it into an exponent first. Because remember, 1 on the inside, 2 on the outside. So I can change that into a fraction exponent. Then I can apply my rule. So the 1 half is going to go out in front. So 1 half in front. And then I have x. And then I have 1 half minus 1. Now let's simplify all this. So y prime is going to be 2e to the x minus, I could write it as 3 times 1 over x. Or I could write it like that, plus 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Now, you can simplify that further by bringing it into the denominator, making it positive, whatever. But remember, you don't need to simplify. This is AP Calculus. So there you go. Okay, I want you to try G on your own, going piece by piece, just like we did here. So differentiating the first piece, and then the second piece. So pause the video and try that one. Okay, you should have gotten this. The 3 goes outside, take the derivative of sine. Negative 5 goes outside, take the derivative of cosine. And then we simplify. Okay, and number 10, I want you to try this one on your own as well. So you're going to find the derivative of this using just like we did up here and then plug 0 into the derivative. So pause the video and try number 10. Okay, this is what you should have gotten. Take the derivative, so 15, leave it out, derivative of sine, plus 4, leave it out, derivative of e to the x, simplify, and then I plug in 0, cosine of 0, I can use my unit circle, 0 radians would be right there, and I want the x value, so it's 1, Simplify it out, so I get h prime of 0 would be 19. Okay, now let's try number 11. This one I want you to once again try on your own, but notice right here, I want f double prime. So you're going to take the derivative twice, and then plug 5 into it. So pause the video, try out that one. Okay, this is what you should have gotten. To walk you through it a little bit, so leave the 4 out, take the derivative of ln of t, 
take the negative 3 out, take the derivative of e to the t, and I simplified it right here a little bit. Now, 1 over t, I'm actually going to write as t to the negative 1 because there's a secret one right here, and I can take it up into the numerator and make it negative. And then if I write it as t to the negative 1 this way, then I can use my exponent rule, take the negative 1 in front, and then minus 1 up here, as I take double prime right there, and then simplify it, and then I took the negative 2 down into the denominator to make it positive, and then I wanted to plug in 5. So I plug in 5 and I get that. And remember, you do not need to simplify it. So there's that problem. Last one. Finding an equation of the line tangent to the graph of this when x equals this. So right here, this keyword, an equation of the line, that should be your red flag that we're talking about something like this. That is an equation for a line. So here I need a slope and I need a point. But notice here I have an equation and an x value. So the first thing that I'm going to do is plug my x value in to my equation so then I can get a full point, because that right there is x1. We're going to plug it in to find y1. So f of pi fourths, plug in. So cosine of pi fourths, I can't use a calculator, so let's use unit circles. Pi fourths is right there, which is going to be 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, both positive. Cosine is the x value, so I'm going to get negative 3 times the x value, so f of pi fourths is going to be negative 3 over root 2. So that means my x1 is pi fourths, my y1 is negative 3 over root 2. So I can already start to fill this in. y minus y1, so minus a negative, will be plus 3 over root 2, equals m, I don't know my slope yet, x minus my x1 pi fourths. So now I need to find m, my slope. To do that, I need to find f prime. That's your slope equation. Derivative is slope. So I'm going to find f prime of this, so the negative 3 stays outside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So f prime of x is going to be positive 3 sine of x. Now I wanted the slope at this point. So now I'm going to plug that point into my slope equation. Well, sine is my y value, so there's my y value. So f prime of pi fourths going to be 3 times 1 over root 2, which is going to be 3 over root 2. So that is the slope for m at x equals pi fourths. So now that I have m, I can plug it back into here. My m is 3 over root 2. And there we go. There's the equation of the line tangent to that function. So that means if we have our cosine function, which is a negative, so it'll look like that. And then I go at pi fourths, and I were to draw a tangent line next to where x is pi fourths. This is the equation for that tangent line. That's what we're doing in this. Okay, so that's everything for 2.3. You can go ahead and get started on your 2.3 assignment.